What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about grocery stores in Norway versus grocery stores in America. What's the difference? How are they different? This is honestly a topic that I would not have expected there to be a lot to talk about, but this video here is 20 minutes long. So all about grocery stores in Norway, which is fantastic. I'm, I'm here to learn about the grocery stores. I love grocery stores, but this will probably take me like two parts to watch all of this. I probably won't watch this entire thing in one video. So uh, stay tuned for that. But for now, I am very interested to begin this video. Um, I'm not sure how different like the actual physical grocery stores are gonna be in Norway. Like a, a store is a store, right? Although I am uh, waiting if I'm going to be surprised about that. A pleasant surprise. But uh, I think th what they sell in the store is going to be vastly, very different what is sold. So I am very excited for that as well. So, let's take a look. Hey everybody, how's it going? So, you know, I was looking back at my videos and I noticed I haven't really done any videos on comparisons. Um, there's, you know, I may mention it here and there, but I haven't done a dedicated what's the difference between Norway and U.S. So I decided I'm going to start trying to make some of those videos the more I get out and integrate it in the public, especially once I start mm. working. I'll be able to do another video on that. But today I wanted to do one on the differences between grocery stores. Between I like that this is an American as well. I'm pretty sure he's American um, because he he's going to be able to spot the stuff that's different whereas norwegians would probably be like oh this is just how we do it it'll actually stick out to him and to me which is good in the u.s and, the, and norway so before i get too far into this video i wanted to point out that i'm in a small very small city so okay anything that i'm talking about with this comparison is solely based on my experience in these local stores that we have we have two okay. of them one is called Koob and the other one's called kiwi um, Koob and kiwi I like that he's in a small area. That's probably more representative of like an average Norwegian grocery chain, right? Um, which kiwi is actually kiwi in English, uh, the fruit, the little green fruit. And you know they're talking about the kiwi fruit because of the fact that everything in the store is green, um, not the food, of course. <laughs> the, uh, the whole theme is, is just kiwi green. Um, okay. Even the dress, from head to toe, they wear green shoes, pants, okay. <laughs> jackets, shirts, everything. It's pretty fun. The store is completely green. That is funny. <laughs> that would be very weird in America. And then Coop, um, it's just the basic style, nice, you know, style. Their, their color theme is like red and yellow or something, the one that's near us. So, yeah. Does Norway have, like, Walmart and stuff like that? You know, that's a... Classic American grocery store, Walmart. Now, this is besides the point. So the differences are, like I said, based on small town um, chain stores. They're still chain stores, so they are all over the Norway. It's not like this okay. is just a little mom and pop places. These are okay. big brand name chain stores for Norway. So yeah, let's just get into this. I'll, I'll show you or tell you about some of the differences that I've noticed. So first off, you know, just like any store when, in the U.S., when you walk in, you're going to notice the produce section. It seems to be the first thing that you walk into, kind of that symbolization of, of uh, we, we're fresh and, and we keep up to date on our stuff. So they do the same thing here, I've noticed. Most time when you walk into a store, you're going to walk pretty closely into the produce area. Okay. Um, get the kind of fresh welcoming, welcoming start. The difference is produce sections here are tiny. They, I mean, the ones that we have here produce, or consist of literally like one fruit stand, you know, a four-sided um, fruit stand with... I'm surprised by that. I mean, it's not that tiny, to be honest, but Norway, I associate with, like, very healthy, fresh food compared to all the processed garbage in America that you can get. But I always thought Norway was very healthy, uh, so I would have thought the, the fresh produce section would be, like, this massive, amazing thing. But this actually, this just looks like a normal grocery store, to be honest. Again, I thought... The, the actual store itself would look similar to an American store. With uh, fruits and some vegetables like tomatoes and uh, I guess those are fruits too, but uh, uh, avocados. Wow, okay, so you have a fruit stand because it's all fruit. Um, and potatoes, <laughs> potatoes aren't a fruit. Um, <laughs> and so you've got like a little fruit stand 
and then you have your lettuce and, and a couple of things aside. But that's it. It's, it's really tiny. It's really not a great selection of, of okay. produce. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want to keep talking about Walmart. I'm, I don't want to brag about Walmart, but uh, the produce and the, it, this, the whole section is pretty massive, honestly. So, yeah. That is different. For vegetarians, it actually might be kind of a difficult thing, um, especially in small towns. Maybe in the cities it'll be easier, but it doesn't seem to be a very vegetarian-friendly overall huh. setup. Which, fine by me, I'm not a vegetarian, I love my meat, so no, huh. no big deal for me. But wanted to point that out. Although, another thing about the, the produce section is, I've noticed, on a regular basis, the stores will have a little plate of, like, sample the fruit, the local fruit that they have there. Oh. Not local, but the, the current fruit, the seasonal fruit. Oh, huh. That's kind of nice, actually. This is, yeah, this is not a thing in America. Probably where <laughs> Americans, again, are not very trusting of each other. So I think people would be worried that this stuff is dirty or someone got their hands all over it or that someone would take all of it. Yeah, this just wouldn't work as well in America. But it is nice, the free samples. Um, so whether it be berries or oranges or apples, whatever it may be, they have little pieces chopped up and that's it, just sitting there out in the open and you just go ahead and pick what you want. There's, huh. you know, I'm not saying that that's a huge difference in, a, in compared to the United States because there are tons of samples, but I've never seen samples with fruit. And yeah. the big difference is there's nobody standing there. So in the United States, I'm so used to, if you have a sampler, a person, you know, uh, some, some kind of new product typically is what they do samples with. And if you have that, it's guarded, basically. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right, he's right. Again, it's the trust thing. In America, people don't trust each other as much. So you can't just leave free food out. Someone will take it all. Someone has to... Someone has to protect it, like a worker. I mean, you know, you, I'm sure you understand. There's gloves and hair nets and white clothes, and you know, they make sure that you're only taking one at a time, and you're not coming back for more and more, and making a meal out of it, and all that good stuff. That's not how it is here. The samples that I've noticed in Norway, it's just one little plate of something, and it's by your honor. You're, you know, they trust you. You're just gonna take one or maybe yeah. two if you like it, and that's it. You're not gonna, you know, take the whole plate and, and run out. <laughs> that's just a difference in the cultures. Somehow even the free food, the grocery stores in Norway, say something about how the culture is different than America. So uh, uh, that was kind of a shock when I saw someone, you know, just walk up and start eating fruit off the plate and like, wait, what, what's, what's going on there? So yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Other things, uh, bread. Now, bread is a very standard staple in the diet in Norway that I've noticed. Right. It, it's uh, even in school systems from what I've been told is they don't have like the standard cafeterias that I'm used to in, in school where they're always serving lunch. You you bring your own stuff. It's they call it a mock pock. It's basically packed lunch. Um, mock pock? Mock pock? Everyone brings their own lunch to school? Really? Oh, okay, forget about that for a second. Norwegians love bread. I would absolutely love Norway, because I love bread. <laughs> the bread in America, I don't feel like it's that good. It's, it's made on like a mass, mass produced and all that, and lots of sugar in it. And it consists of breads, meats, and cheese, and fruits or whatever else you put into it. Uh, it's pretty traditional from what I've been told. I don't have any kids or I don't go to that type of school, so I really don't know that's just what I've been told. Okay. And so bread seems to be the thing. So we do have a good selection of bread here. Huh. But the big difference in bread, there's two main differences that I've noticed. One is there is an extremely small selection when it comes to white bread. Um, Norwegians huh. have two different words, so I'll just point that out. They have brød and you have lof. Now, brød is typical bread, but it's whole grain bread. Typically, it's some form of oh. wheat bread, basically, so... Oh, brød. Loaf. Brød. Yep, yep. See, this is more what I think when I think Norway healthy. Like, that they have the healthy multi-grain bread or whatever. That actually makes sense to me. In America, it's just white bread. Like, the most unhealthy stuff you can imagine. You know, we have in the U.S. we call it wheat bread or white bread. It's the same thing here, but wheat bread is the normal bread that you would buy in the store. So if you oh. were to want to get a white bread, you don't ask, you don't say, can you can you buy some brød? You say, can you buy some loaf? 
The loaf oh. is the actual white bread, and it's not. Oh, so wow, wow, loaf is less common in Norway. That's an that's that's one of those small, yet like not surprising, interesting differences between America and Norway. We should America should be more like Norway in this respect with the bread. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not very common. Um, the other difference is that most of the bread is is not sliced. It is a standard loaf of bread that um, you can tell has been more or less freshly baked within the last few days. What? And uh, you put it in these machines that they have there that will slice it up for you. Or you can just bring it home and slice yourself. What? This is cool. Wow, that's actually cool. And it looks like, yeah, the bread in Norway just seems like it's much higher quality. Uh, just judging from the scraps at the bottom there even. Yeah, like all bread in America is sliced. Because people only make sandwiches out of it. Nothing else. And it's all white bread. Loaf. Huh. Wow. There are, there are actually a surprising amount of differences. Not just in the grocery stores, but just with bread in Norway. Um, the machines are great. They're fun. They're, there's like the standard bakery style machines, I can assume. You, know, you open up the little container, put it in, and out comes your sliced bread. And you bag it up yourself and take it to huh. the front. So yeah, everything is open and, and nice. Um, don't get me wrong, they do have sliced bread, it is there, but it's more common that I've seen to buy the uh, bread that you slice yourself. Huh. Something that has been kind of traumatizing for me in the store. Peanut <laughs> butter. I love peanut butter. It's one of my things that I've grown up with, which I'm sure many of my United States viewers also have. Um, there is not a selection of peanut butter here. It's plain and simple. The stores that really? we have combined have, I think, four different peanut butters. And I'm not saying four different brands or anything. Literally four different things you can choose from. <laughs> this is a very American problem here. <laughs> peanut butter is so popular in America that there are, like, 20 different, like, types to choose from. Different brands, different types, different consistency. The peanut butter is important in America. It's like a staple food. So yeah, that's kind of random. It's uh, peanut butter is also very unhealthy. Again, I don't want to be a stickler for the unhealthiness, but peanut butter is kind of fattening and it doesn't have much nutrients. So it kind of makes sense to me. Or maybe it's just a cultural thing. I don't know. But Norway not having a lot of peanut butter kind of makes sense to me. Um. Two of them have the same one that I get, the one I buy, which is the uh, organic, just literally squashed peanuts with a huh. little bit of salt in it, and that's about it. That's that the ingredients is like 99% peanuts and salt. And so um, that, that's the best, in my opinion. That's how I used to buy it in the U.S. too, so that's not a big difference, luckily. But if you're a fan of like Jif peanut butters and all these other styles of, you know, variety peanut butter, it's not going to, it's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, we can't get our favorite peanut butter. What? Whatever will we do? Now, maybe in the big cities, like I said, <clears throat> I don't know, but in a small town, in the average stores, all the stores that I've been in, peanut butter doesn't exist. It okay. is so hard to find. Okay. Um, the other thing that was kind of a shock is uh, refried beans. Now, refried beans, you would think, well, well of course it's not going to be refried beans, right? It's it's not. You're not in a Hispanic cultural area. That's not. That's not. That's that's more of a cultural type food. Well. What's a shock to me is that it is a huge cultural thing here to have taco night. Um, <laughs> I knew it. I knew this was coming. Taco night. Every couple videos, I get this Norwegian taco night thing. And it's just so funny to me that uh, <laughs> the Norwegians like uh, have a dead end. It's so random. It's so random that, that Norwegians love tacos and have a taco night. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that that is a thing. That is great. Yeah, uh, Americans don't eat that many refried beans. So I don't know why he's really uh, upset about the lack of refried beans. Most Americans don't eat beans. So that wouldn't really affect me. But Norway doesn't even have them. So well, that's okay. Um, and what I mean is like typically Fridays or Saturdays, it is very common that Norwegian family is going to have tacos or yeah. more directly, they say Tex-Mex is the style. So it may not be okay. literal tacos, could be burritos, could be taco boats, but it's some sort of taco style, um, Tex-Mex style meal for yeah. Fridays or Saturdays. Very, very common. Okay. Either that or pizza. 
And so because of that how- are <laughs> That are pizza. Oh my gosh, I love Norway. Tacos and pizza and bread. Oh, it's great. Oh, strong Tex-Mex night is, or taco night is for Norwegian culture. I'm so surprised that there is only one can of refried beans that I have seen at any store. And it is a brand, I think it's El Paso is the brand. Um, they taste great. They're wonderful beans actually, but it's this tiny little like six ounce can and that's hmm. it. I guess he likes to put beans, refried beans on his tacos or something. This really, most people don't care about this in the US that I'm aware of. Maybe I'm weird, I don't know. Th that's it, I've never seen any other beans in all the different stores I've gone to, including other out, out of our city stores. And so that was a pretty big shock because I'm used to being from LA, I'm used to these big old cans of beans and all sorts of different flavors and varieties and brands. And So you can see a huge selection of just Tex-Mex stuff, whether it be okay. seasoning, salsa, taco mix, shells, tortillas. It's probably like five or six different varieties of tortilla uh, selection, <laughs> but one can of refried beans. So that's that's a bit of a strange eh, thing. Whatever. All right, moving on. Other things. Tubes. Norwegians love tubes of things. Um, oh, tubes. Tubes. I was like, what did, what did he say? Tubes? Tube. Tubes. <laughs> Norwegians love tubes of things. Is that true? What does that mean? Or I can't say they love it, but that is what you find all over the store. Um, and what I mean by that, you have mayonnaise in tubes, all sorts of different types of cheeses in tubes. You even have caviar in tubes. Yes, caviar. Now, it's not the caviar that you may think of, like, you know, the, the tiny little black beluga caviar on crackers you see in rich people movies type stuff. It is, um, uh, it, it's caviar. It's fish eggs. Oh, okay. Like a tube, like a tube of toothpaste, almost. <laughs> where you squeeze it out. Norwegians like to squeeze, have a lot of things that you can squeeze out of, out of a tube. Okay. I never would really have associated that with America. So I guess that is kind of a Norwegian thing. But it's, it's a spread it, and it's really good actually. I love it and you, a lot of times you'll eat it with like cheese or um, just by itself or however, you know, everybody has their different opinions there. Caviar in a tube. I have never heard of that. That would probably scare most Americans. That, that does not sound, that sounds a little scary. But uh, it's really good. And there's several varieties of that even. So you have like um, a mixture of, of flavors and you have like a light smoky flavor, a heavier. Wow, there are a lot of these in tubes. Wow. A mixture of. Yeah, look at all that. Of flavors and you have like a light smoky flavor, a heavier. Ma majones, mahones, heavier smoky flavor and all that. I, I, I might do a video on, on that later. But yeah, caviar in a tube and mayo in a tube, not in a jar. They're, they do have jars, but not very many. I've seen like one jar of mayonnaise. Oh yeah, that's a good way to put it. Americans do like to have stuff in jars that we like scoop out, scoop out and spread on stuff with a knife or Norwegians have the tube. The tube might be more advanced. <laughs> Maybe Norway is just in the future a little more. Otherwise you get it in a tube or in a box that contains little bags of mayonnaise. Mm. And the cheese, <laughs> squeezy, creamy style cheese, which is delicious again, but it'll have like different flavors like bacon cheese and ham cheese and um, uh, I've seen jalapeno cheese and so on. So there's like lots of different varieties and wow. tubed spreads for lunch and stuff like that. Oh, tubed cheese. Oh. Tubed cheese, uh, I don't know about that. I'm sure it's good. I just have to get used to the tube part. Um, that was different, because I'm sure they have in the US. I've just never seen it anywhere. I'm, I'm, I can't recall seeing anything that's normal like that in a tube. Like, no. I think I've seen uh, wasabi paste and stuff like that in tubes was a common thing I would see there in, in the US. Huh. Another thing, uh, cold cuts. Cold cuts are pretty well stocked. Um, I think the local stores that we have have like two sections, three sections in the refrigerated area. So a decent amount of cold cuts. Um, okay. One thing that I've noticed across the board is that everything is less here when it comes to variety. Um, this, I, I grew up in the big cities in the US, so obviously I have too much variety there. That, that's, that's a yeah, maybe, that, maybe that's like a cultural thing. Like Americans are obsessed with food so maybe like companies know that they can sell americans like 
20 different types of everything, basically. So I would believe it if just across the board, Norway has like less options, brands and stuff, because it, it's honestly unnecessary. It's basically just a sales tactic for to get Americans to buy more stuff. It's a given, but uh, the cold cuts here are pretty good. Now, most of it that I've noticed is going to be some form of a salami style meat um, or sausage okay. style meat. So um, that that's like one section will have all sorts of different varieties, different flavors and different types of meat. Um, horse meat is actually kind of a common um, meat that you What? No way. Oh, look, there's sausage. The giant sausages. <laughs> anyway, horse meat. I've never, I didn't even know that was a thing that you could get horse meat. Horse meat? I've certainly never had it. It's just as like Americans, Americans don't like picturing that because Americans think horses are cute and for riding and they're not for eating. So, man, Americans, as far as like deli meats, Americans just eat turkey, maybe some ham. This is like the Norwegian meat section, I think would kind of blow my mind more than anything, all the different meat. The, the difference in meat between Norway and America is really, really substantial. I have learned that. What you'll have here, it's not, it's not looked at upon as, as gross or anything like that. Um, I think I've tasted it. I'm not sure. I can't remember if I have or not. Um, but uh, I think I did and I didn't notice any difference. So yeah, different yeah. types of salamis, is, it seems to be the biggest. But of course, we also have here, uh, we have hams and uh, roast beef and all those different types of things you can get to. So that wasn't too big of a shock. I think the biggest shock was that most of it is salami of some form. Salami. Not just straight salami, but there's different different uh, flavors of salamis. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Okay. I'm going to pause it right there. <laughs> I'm enjoying this video. Yeah, this is turning into more about the <laughs> the different food that you can get in a Norwegian grocery store compared to America. And some of it is concerning me. Some of it is a little different to me. Some of it's familiar. To, like, there's such random stuff that's different between Norway and America. Like, using tubes more. Like, no sliced bread. Not as much sliced bread. <laughs> some of this random stuff. I love it. I love it. I really, really enjoy videos like this where it's just like, these are the funny little differences between Norway and America. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this. So if you're enjoying this, feel free to come back for part two of this. I'm going to probably make that, you know, after I release this video, uh, the next video will probably be the end of this one, part two. So come back for that. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.